Hi, this is Ed. My name is Luke Rosa. I will be a senior at the University of Arkansas. And up to about a year ago, I was a Christian guy who knew the Bible. I was a Christian guy who knew the Gospel. I was that Christian guy who was going to hell. I grew up in a Christian home and I grew up in a Christian family. So church was not a stranger to me. The beliefs uh, were not a stranger to me. And so going to junior high and high school, I constantly sought to please God. And how I did that was through my works. And so, for example, I was captain of FCA at my church, or at school. I was um, president of my youth group for two years. I was chaplain of the Methodist Youth of Arkansas. And so I sought time and put time into pleasing God constantly. And through this work, and through this effort, uh, going into college, I would tell myself um, that I wanted to use my college experience to define who I was and what I wanted to be because I was completely exhausted of that Christian lifestyle I was living. And so through that, um, I met a guy on fraternity, and so he began to uh, meet up with me, and he shared the bridge with me, and I took it really offensive. Um, I had a lot of pride built up. I had a lot of um, self-confidence in myself, my beliefs that I had made up through going um, in high school and in my freshman year, and so um, it almost actually turned me away from the bridge because it, it was convicting of me, the convicted of my sins, and I didn't like that. I didn't like being told I was wrong. And so for a year and a half, the devil ran my life, and he did that. Um, until a very a powerful thing happened in my life, and that was in December. Um, after a big party night, uh, I had got really drunk, and then I ended up punching through a window and going to the hospital, and I woke up in the hospital the next morning. Um, the most embarrassing thing about that was I had to go home and tell my parents what happened. I didn't tell my family while I was in the hospital what I was doing, and they were genuinely scared for me. They were genuinely upset, and they were afraid for my life and what I was going to do, the path I was going down. So going through Christmas break, um, I sought time in the Word, I sought time in Scripture, and I came back that spring semester on a little spiritual high, and so I used that spiritual high to tell myself that I could get out of the sin I was in, you know, the bad habits I was in. Um, within a matter of two or three weeks, I was falling back in the same sin rut that I was in before, and I didn't want to go out of the way, because I knew it led to destruction, I knew it led to um, misery. And so I sought out some guys in my fraternity um, who were living a Christian life, call themselves a Christian just as I did, but there's something different about it. And I'm going to meet up with them again to uh, talk to them about God, talk to them about Jesus, and they explain to me what Jesus did, how he uh, was perfect, how he was the Son of God, uh, he died on the cross for my sins, 